Billy Lee's here. I'm Senator Bob Corker from Tennessee, and I'm honored to serve as Chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Over the last several weeks, Congress has been reviewing the nuclear agreement between Iran, the United States, and other world powers. Martha, we got a lot of politicians that will kiss babies, cut ribbons, do whatever it takes to be popular. That's not why I ran for office. But there's not been evidence of any systemic um, uh, fraud. And so I, I think that, uh, you know, we just need to agree the election is over. Uh, Vice President Biden is going to be the next president of the United States. And, and I hope people will not capitulate in any way on the principles, but find a way to solve problems and reach, uh, reach common ground. If you wanted an FBI investigation, you could have come to us. What you want to do is destroy this guy's life, hold this seat open, and hope you win in 2020. You've said that, not me. The President of the United States is playing Russian roulette with the American economy. For month after month after month, the President refused, refused to meet with the Speaker of the House to talk about debt and spending. His greatest hits from his job keep coming back to haunt him, and as much as his allies here in the Senate try to spin his record, they just can't seem to convince people that he is fit to lead. I didn't deal with one country, I dealt with 193. It's the experience that you have, but more importantly, it's the results. Look at what we did when I was governor of South Carolina. It has the strength to pull this fully loaded. The lessons of tonight's victory are that given the choice, New Yorkers refuse to go backwards on our long march toward progress. Last Friday, I talked about a student party in Bristol that at that time had led to five positive cases. And at the end of the press conference, the number was up to 12 positive cases. Okay, uh, good morning to everyone. I'd like to acknowledge my colleagues who are here with me today. To my left, you'll hear from him in a moment, Michael Dowling from uh, Northwell Health, which has uh, done a, just a fantastic job, uh, not just at this facility, but all across the state. And I want to thank him very much. There was certainly a lesson last night to uh, appear there and only get nine minutes out of two hours. And it reaffirmed what I thought when I got into the race and that the establishment just does not want to hear an anti-war voice. And that motivates me even more uh, to continue this campaign. Uh, I just want to congratulate Secretary of State Jim Condos and his team uh, for bringing Vermont's elections into the 21st century. What this means is that in the most important part of democracy, the foundation of democracy, the ability of everybody to vote. Climate change is a national and international issue, so I think that just having a regional response won't alone work, but some form and sense of unity would be very important on it. 